Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the UK, please clap your hands and go nuts for Lloyd Langford! <laughs> Hello. It's a pleasure to be here in Australia. I think there are certain aspects of Australia that are just better than the United Kingdom. You know, I think your national anthem, for example, is just better. You know, the Australian national anthem, Advance Australia Fair. British national anthem, God Save the Queen. You're essentially asking someone who doesn't exist to protect someone who shouldn't. <laughs> Yeah. So it's nice to be here. I'm, I'm, enjoying, I'm enjoying Australia. I'm enjoying the weather. One thing I don't quite understand is like, well, why do they still put the weather on the news? You know, like it's 2017 now, isn't it? Like we've got the internet, you know, and windows. Like we can see. <laughs> We can see the weather, like, you don't have to tell us the weather. Like, I, I was watching the weather, and uh, there'd been, like, a heat wave uh, in the north of Australia, and the weatherman, he had, like, a giant map behind him, you know, like they do, and he goes, oh, they've, uh, they've copped it really bad up north. I was thinking, mate, you can't say copped. <laughs> You're a meteorologist. <laughs> Use some fucking science words. You know, what next? Ah, oh, these pricks got burnt. <laughs> this poor cunt hasn't got a house anymore. <laughs> there was a lack of professionalism in his weather report, you know? It, it extended throughout the report as well. Later on in the report, he said this of a straight face. I don't know how he managed to keep a straight face, but he did. He went, uh, as we approach evening, temperatures will begin to drop. <laughs> I was like, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know that massive ball of fire that lives in the sky? <laughs> That's the other side of the world now, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever revelations have you got for me, you know? My sundial is gonna become less accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an increased chance of seeing an owl. <laughs> He's a professional weatherman on TV getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, essentially going, it get cold at night time. <laughs> I was like, I fucking know that. Also, I'm thinking, why are you telling me the night weather? <laughs> I would consider myself to be a curious man, right? However, the night weather, that's never once piqued my interest. <laughs> I've never been on the laptop before bed thinking, oh, one more thing. <laughs> Just before I turn in for the evening, I better find out what the clouds are gonna look like whilst I'm unconscious. <laughs> I wouldn't want to miss out on some sweet cumulonimbus. <laughs> Tell you a, a little bit more about myself. Uh, my uh, face is too big. <laughs> you got a big old face, though, there's fuck all you can do about it, you know? <laughs> Just have to get on with it, you know? You can't get your face reduced in a medical procedure. <laughs> Just have to style it out, you know? Looking around the audience, I can see other people whose faces are also too big. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna single anyone out, but uh, I feel your pain, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I found out my face was too big. I was doing a theater show. They put up a poster of my face at the venue. It was behind glass, right? And when I arrived at the theater, I was really excited until I saw the poster. I couldn't help but notice underneath the glass, right? In the middle of my forehead, there was a spider that had died <laughs> trying to cross my face. <laughs> <laughs> and it like walked out halfway across and then looked out at the vast featureless tundra ahead of it. <laughs> I was like, fuck, fuck that is too far to walk. <laughs> Even with eight legs, that is a hike. <laughs> I had another recent criticism of my face. I don't quite know how to take this. Uh, if you were in a heterosexual relationship, right, and the woman is going down on the man, and when she's going down on the man, she makes direct eye contact with the man, that is considered to be powerfully erotic. <laughs> However, the man is going down on the woman. When he's going down on the woman, he instigates direct eye contact with the woman. 
I've been told I look like a small boy peering over a hedge. <laughs> About to ask his next door neighbour for his football back. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening to me. I've been Lloyd Lankford. <laughs>